All right, cool. So thanks so much for joining us for a little short game school today. You know, Shane, he's been with us for a whole week already at camp. So we did uh, six days of golf camp. We went surfing yesterday because that's how we roll around here, right? Now today we got a little short game school. We're going to be out here from 9 to 5, right? So about three hours this morning working on chipping, pitching, and sand shots, have a little bit of lunch, then come back out here and talk about putting a little bit. So uh, who here has ever been to a short game school or even had short game lessons? Now we know last week, of course, you had some lessons, but what about you guys? Maryland. Maryland, right? Do you take lessons on a regular basis? No. Okay, well good. So our goal today is to give you some mad skills, right? Okay, so basically, when you look at the game of golf, golf can be broken down into different games. You know, we've got the power game, which would be hitting the golf ball as hard and as far as you can possibly hit it with whatever club we have. So a tee shot or maybe a pro shot with a full swing, that would be power game. And then once you get inside of, let's say, 100 yards for most people, sometimes a little bit longer if you're talking about tour pros, if you can no longer make a full swing, right, because the ball will go too far, now we're talking about what we call the finesse game, right? And the finesse game is very different from the power game. Instead of trying to hit the golf ball hard and far, in general, we're trying to hit it kind of short and soft. Control, precision, getting the ball online so it can finish close to the hole. So as we talk about these different shots today, we're going to talk about a couple of basic principles and, of course, the mindset that you have to shift to when you're in a finesse game situation. Now, there's another game, which would be the putting game, right? And the putting game is nothing at all like the driving game. So how we hold it, how we stand, how we move is going to be a little bit different there as well. So we're going to give you guys some real tools today to be able to walk up to your golf ball in any situation and know exactly what you have to do in line with that goal that you have. Okay? We're going to start off this morning with chipping and pitching, the stuff we learned there. We're going to transition into the sand. But to keep this really simple for you guys, if you're hitting a pitch shot or a chip shot, chip shot would be close to the green, right? Ball in the air, nice and low trajectory, running towards the, towards the hole. A pitch shot would be lofting the ball up in the air. We got about a 30 yard shot right here. If you're hitting a chip or a pitch shot and you're not getting the result that you want, it's gonna be for one of three basic reasons. Number one, you might be hitting the ground somewhere where the golf ball is not. Raise your hand if you've ever done that before. I have, gotcha. Number two, when you hit the ground, you take too much of it. Boom, huge divot. Who's done that before? Me as well. And then number three, you're not controlling or maintaining the natural loft on the club face. So our goal right here is to hit this golf ball high and soft, but I might be doing something at a dress, which is closing the face, or during the swing, I might be twisting the face, in most cases, shut. And when we do that, we take loft away, and of course, we can't hit these high soft golf shots. So whether it's a new golfer, a junior golfer, a college player, or a high level tour player, if they're coming to me, and they're having trouble with this shot or that shot, it's because of one or all of those three reasons, okay? So let's talk a little bit about bottom of swing. The zipper on your jacket or the buttons of your shirt, where those are is where the bottom of your swing will be. So what we're gonna do on this shot today is we're gonna put the ball in the middle of our stance and we're gonna go ahead and get our weight on our front foot, but the way we're gonna do that is by getting the zipper on our jacket or the buttons of our shirt a little bit ahead of the golf ball. See that? So where the bottom of the swing is, right, that's going to give us the best opportunity to hit the ball first and then the ground second. As I make these little rehearsal swings, where's this club brushing the grass? More towards the target, right? That's our goal. So if we're hitting the, the ground somewhere other than where the ball is, it's because the buttons of our shirt are too far back and then the bottom of the swing is too far back. All right, so that's tip number one. The second thing is related to how much ground we're hitting. And what we're going to talk about is a principle we call bounce. You guys know what bounce is? Maybe, maybe not? Well, check this out. So if I take this club and I set it on the ground with the shaft maybe just a little bit towards the target, see that? See how the leading edge and the trailing edge, they kind of fit into the ground kind of evenly? Right? That means that we're going to be able to use a little bit of the bounce on this club, which means the club's not going to dig into the ground so much. Now if I took this club and I leaned it like really hard towards the target, can you see how the leading edge is kind of like pitching more into the turf? That's going to give us too much dig. 
So if you're hitting too much ground, you've got too much leading edge, which means you're not using the club's bounce. So as we set up with this ball in the center of our stance, and our button's a little bit forward, notice how if my hands start in the center of my body, and the head and the handle are kind of matched up, as I lean those buttons forward, see how the shaft leans forward? But only just a little bit, and that's the secret here. So if the shaft leans forward a little bit, as we swing, we're gonna get that club kind of gliding right through the grass. And that's a huge key on all of these finesse shots, all right? Our goal for most of these shots is, is little divot to no divot, all right? The final thing is relative to the club face, right? So if your club face is out of position, that might be a, an adjustment unique to you. But what I will tell you is that there's no player in professional golf that sets up with their club face closed. If the club face is closed, we don't have any loft, right? And also, if the club face is closed, what happened to that leading edge again? Sticking into the ground, right? So if you have any question in your mind as to whether or not your club face is closed, then just go ahead and let the club face open just a little bit. If you're trying to hit the ball high and soft anyway, it's just gonna help you do that. All right, so we're gonna look at your club face, we're gonna look at the bottom of your swing, we're gonna look at how well you use the bounce, and we're gonna start this morning just trying to make some nice contact on some of these little pitch shots. Now the cool thing is these targets right there, they're made out of metal, so if you hit them, they make a lot of noise, and of course noise is a lot of fun. So our goal this morning is to try and get those three things dialed in, hit the ball towards those targets, make some noise, we'll go ahead and reevaluate, we'll talk about distance control, club selection, and some other things with our presentation number two. Questions? All right, cool. Let's get to work.